Hi, Tom with Heritage. Um, I'm in someone's heating control cupboard again today. We're changing some, some zone valves here that have um, stopped working. So just want to quickly talk you through the wiring of these zone valves because it could be a little bit confusing. So this customer's hit upon a bit of bad luck. We've got uh, five zone valves here. We've got hot water, first floor, second floor, basement, and then some underfloor heating in the bathroom down here. This is the only zone valve that's working. Um, can you hear that? That's me manually opening and closing the valve using the little lever underneath. Now these make that sort of whining sound. This one, even though the heating's off, there's just nothing, uh, no resistance there at all. So there's something up with the hot water. Same with, ooh, that doesn't sound very nice at all. Same with the wet room down here, the on the floor heating in the bathroom. This one we've just taken off. There's a little lever. It's totally bent out of shape and it was just won't let me open that valve. So we've not got any, not got any heat in there because these are ingenious little devices, um, which once the actual valve opens, so there's a little motor in here that actually opens the valve to allow heating around that loop. There's also uh, a switch which is closed in here, which then fires the boiler. So on the end of the zone valve, we've got this flex and we've got all these different colors. Um, so if we have a look to the new one that we're gonna gonna fit, it's a light for light replacement, Honeywell. Um, so they they actually come um, like that, so sort of propped open. So what happens is you can slide it across, and if you don't do anything, it'll slide back on its own. Or if you push it up. You can leave it open like that, and that's how they come packaged. So this one's got um, five cores, the one we've just taken off. This new one's actually got six cores. Yeah, six cores. So usually what we need to do with these is obviously connect it to earth, and the neutral is the neutral. Um, in this instance, I'm going to ignore the white and we'll look at the three remaining cores. We've got like a brown, a gray and an orange. We connect the gray up to a permanent 230 volts. The brown receives a, a switch um, and so this might come from a heating or hot water controller or from uh, you know from directly from a thermostat and what will happen then is as soon as there's a switched supply a switched signal onto the brown core that will start the valve opening now, once the valve is fully open, there's a little switch inside which closes. And what will happen then is the permanently live grey will marry up with the orange. The orange is the core that then fires the boiler. So we can see, we actually get a little wiring diagram here. So. Blue neutral, green and yellow is earth. Permanent onto the gray, which is NO, normally open. So when the valve is closed, the switch is open. As soon as we put voltage onto the brown, then the valve will open, the switch will close, and the permanent supply that's on the gray gets passed over to the orange, the orange comes back and fires the boiler. 
Now, if you've got, as we have here, multiple zone valves, that's a really clever solution to a problem of avoiding any sort of feedback. So just to recap, uh, green and yellow is always earth, blue is neutral. You put a permanent supply onto the gray, switch supply from whatever you're using to control, whether that's just a you know smart thermostat or a heating program or something like that. Once it gets that signal, the valve opens, the switch inside closes, we get voltage onto the orange, that then goes on to our uh, boiler switch live. Now these are relatively easy to change. There's a screw on top which you just have to loosen. This plate then pulls off, you can see here. Um, and then you've got two torques with like a slotted groove in them as well. So you can get your slotted in there. Otherwise the two little torque screws which hold it on um, you can see that's the plate that's behind. You've got the valve closed and open. Uh, and yeah, that's the only bit that this uh, zone valve operates. It should be easy to move like that. Open, closed. If it's not, it might be that the whole body needs changing, not just the motor unit on top. 